Well lost the Juliet Cross. And that's five. Plug Gates. Beautiful scenes that feel so good. Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to episode 4 of my Brentford FIFA 21 career mode series. This episode is a bit of a jump forward. We've skipped essentially three matches. I was struggling with recording, it was laggy, the gameplay was all over the place. A few people were pointing it out and it just wasn't good enough to be able to be uploaded to my channel. I think I fixed the issues, so happy days. Fingers crossed they look good throughout this video. If they don't, do let me know down below and I will keep working to try and fix them. So essentially what I'll do quickly is update you on where we left off last time. So in the league, we managed to play a few games. We got a 4-1 victory at Coventry. We drew two all to Rotherham. That was an active sim. Quite disappointing, you know, considering we were top of the league and another 7-1 win against Wickham. So I was playing on legendary difficulty. However, winning 7-1 back-to-back, I've upped it. I'm on ultimate now. So, fingers crossed the form can continue. I'm a bit nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Essentially, from this episode on, ultimate difficulty is what we're playing on. Let's see. So, the key things to notice before we jump into our first match is that we're joint top of the championship with Stoke City. Bournemouth are quite close behind. It is very congested at the top. Obviously, we're only eight games in, so... Anything could happen. Top goal scorers, we're smashing it. Tony, who is now back from his four-week injury. Wamagatuka and Embuemo kicking ass, top in the charts. So with Tony back, this is the team we're going to be rocking. 4-4-2, this is my strongest team, 100%. Iorfa's currently in because Jansen is on international duties. Normally it would be Anson, but it's Iorfa for now. But boys, come on, that is a team. In the championship, I'm loving it. Let's see if we can continue the form, get another W and strive towards that Premier League. I can taste it. I can taste it on the tip of my tongue. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ultimate difficulty time. What are you saying, my G? Nice bit of football here. Silas, go on. She probably should have scored. I didn't put much power on it. I wasn't expecting to make it. But we're getting the chances. This is looking good. Are we in, boys? Brentford. Are we in? I might go all the way here. What? How? How did I go in? Let's see this. What a touch for my son. Oh, it doesn't even show it. Shocking. Oh, no. Norgard is a tank. Hold it. Keep it going. Tony's got that little bit of space. And Buemo is in fucking acres. Good boys. Are we ever going to score? Are we ever going to score? Nice bit of footwork, Henry. Silas into Godos. This is textbook. Back to Silas. My man. Heel to heel. Is he in? He's in. Let's go. Finally, the breakthrough's there. Took us long enough, so many chances, and we've got it. And it's my main man, Silas Wamagatuka. Nice bit of play, kept the ball, kept composed, heel to heel, flick, create the space, and we bag it. Look at that, little heel to heel, and there's no doubt that we're making that 1 0. Come on now, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stay stood up. Oh, he's done me. Keeper. Raya comes in clutch. That is unreal goalkeeping. That is the kind of keeper we need to get us into the Premier League. Oh, a bit of space. Silas. That's all we need. That is all we need. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's go. Silas may be in over the top here. It's an absolute ping from Tony. Silas, if you score here, boy. Come on. Come on. That's a hat trick. We got the amount of hat tricks I've scored this season already. We're only nine games into the championship, and that is another hat trick, and it is the main man. Silas Wamigatuka. He's back. Tony again with the assist. Absolute annihilation. 3 0 home win against Birmingham City. Ultimate difficulty. Can't quite hang with the boys. So these are the settings that we're going to be playing. As I said, ultimate difficulty. 
First win, 3 0, 6 minute half length, competitive mode on. I don't know what that means. Quick substitutes on. I don't know what that means either, but that is essentially what we're doing. So, one thing I did do in the previous episode that you guys haven't seen in the, the corrupted, the shit footage, whatever it is, we had a scout with four star, four star. So, I essentially sent him to England, see if we could pick up some decent players. And this is our first scouting report. By the looks of it, there's two decent players here Owen Clifford and Matthew Hobson. The potentials are high. So we're definitely going to bring him in. Definitely Owen, Mr. Owen Clifford's going to get signed and Hobson as well. As I said at the start of this, I do want to invest a lot into like, the youth academy and our youth setup. Something I always do when I play FIFA career mode. So that is going to be a big goal of mine. Let's see if the boys are here. So Hobson is 16 and he's got 56 overall. Decent room for potential. Clifford is 65 overall. He's only 15. So we'll keep an eye on him. Definitely a player that could be playing for Brentford in the Premier League next season. That's if we get there. So up next, we're in the Carabao Cup, is this? Is this the EFL Cup? That is the Car Carabao. What is the Carabao? If you know what Carabao is, let me know down below. I'll be intrigued to find out. So what we're going to do, go into Cup fixtures, mix it up a little bit, rotate the squad, try and rest some weary legs, and see if we can get a big win. Toughest opponent so far, Spurs... What have you got? So we're not actually going to rotate it too much as the majority of our players are already fully fit, which is great news. We made a few swaps about. Tony's going to be on the bench as he's not quite back from full fitness yet. Godos takes his place and Koulibaly comes in at left mid. Come on then, you Brentford. Premier League opposition. We got this. Let's go, Silas. Let's go. So this is it. Spurs. They're not resting the big boys, that's for sure. Bale, Son. I don't know who that is on the end. Lasalso, maybe. It is. I saw Kane as well. They're fearless. We're already in their heads. We're already in their heads, boys. It's the biggest game so far of the series. If we can get a win here on Armour Difficulty, that will be huge. We'll be playing Spurs next season, I hope. So let's do this. All right, so this is what Armour Difficulty really is. It's absolute annihilation for the nation. I've got Bale doing drag backs, ball rolls, roulettes, you name it. But we still manage to dispossess him. Let's go, boys. Let's get that counter attack. We need to take our chances when we can. Let's get Janssen involved. Let's spread the play a little bit. Essentially, our main point of threat is Wamigatuka. That's the man we need to get involved. But that is a ball for Koulibaly. Whip that. Somebody. Oh, boys. That was a real ball in. we got to get our heads on it. Mate, Lasalso is an absolute weapon. Oh, we had a chance a minute ago. We knew it was going to happen. Tottenham Hotspur. All it took was that one little... Um, what, what is this? I don't even know what skill move it is. All right, not going to lie. It's pretty bad defending for me, but that is a finish. Come on, Brentford. Come on. Silas might be in, you know. Got to be. Oh, he's missed. It's just not our night. A cold, windy night at Brentford. Oh, it's Silas in. Let's go, Silas. I thought he was going to be offside. I didn't want to celebrate too early. He's just missed an absolute sitter on his left, but he bags it on his right. Game on, Tottenham. Let's go. Silas, go. Go on, Silas. Go on. Is he making that? He's fucking making it. The unbelievable... Silas has got another one. What a through ball. I think that was from Godos. Godos on Bueno have absolutely peached it. Eric Dyer at the back cannot be trusted. The pace, the power, and that finish. My boy, Silas Wamigatuka. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mate. Lasalso is mad. Look at this for a finish. Kane, Lasalso skins me, and that is a goal. I called it. I said there was a goal coming any minute, and there it is, and it's not for us, boys. Let's go. Oh, Kane. Ah, oh, no. Oh, dear. Mate, he's ran and he's hugged Jose. I can't. I can't do it. He's just sprinting. He's scored and sprinting 90 yards to hug his manager. 
And it's Jose Mourinho. So unfortunately you can't win them all guys. Harry Kane pretty much showed us that. Don't know what he's doing in that little celebration there. He's hugging nobody. Because he has no friends. And he has no fans. But we fall out of the Carabao Cup. It's fine. It is fine. We can focus on the league now. And talking about the league. Our next fixture is the big one. Stoke City. Not a lot of time in between games. I'm going to tinkle with the team a little bit. And we're going to dive straight into this one. Come on now boys. We need a big one here. Love that. Keeping the ball. The silver. There's number one. Let's go. Little give and go. Wamegatuka into Joshi Boy Da Silva. And he makes it 1 0. Beautiful scenes of glorious emotion. Go on, Tony. Go on, Tony. He's in. The man is in. There we go. All he needed was a little counter attack action. And we get our second. And he's back. He's back. The boys at Brentford. Yes, there we go, lads. Let's get it. Tony back on the score sheet. 2 0 up at half time. Godus and a blessing coming on for Wamigatuka and Norgard. Just the rest of them. We don't want to get carried away. We don't want any injuries. We want to keep things fit and healthy up in Brentford. Oh, the little give it go. Blessing. Tony. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He is back. Blessing's pace in centre midfield is so overpowered. Especially as Stoke are trying to get back in the game. They're pushing players forward. All we needed was that little glimpse. And we got it. Blessing, ball roll into Tony. And that is a finish. Fair play. The beast is back. Oh, there's space. There's space. Godos. Mate, oh my difficulty. What are they doing? What are they doing? Wow. Oh. What a ping. <laughs> Stoke have been destroyed. Stoke have been destroyed. Big leap. Tony into Goddess again for his hat trick. For his hat trick. Stoke City have been absolutely dismantled. I feel like Liverpool. We're Liverpool of the championship right now. It's substitute has scored a hat trick. And that's another hat trick. Mate, it's too easy. It's too easy. So we make the switch to ultimate difficulty. And wow. We've just beat Stoke City 7-0. Godot's got a hat-trick. He came off the bench at half-time and he bags a hat-trick. Unbeaten in the league. We are loving life. Eight wins, two draws, zero losses. Look at them goals. Only conceded seven. Oh, it's beautiful. But we're not done yet for this episode. We've got one more game. Huddersfield, it looks like. We're going to active sim this one. So mix it up a little bit. Get a bit funky with it. So to end this episode, we are active simming a game against Huddersfield. After a 7-0 win away at Stoke City, let's see if the boys, without my control, can carry on that form and get a W. So we end up drawing the Active Sim 1-0. It is what it is. That's two draws from Active Sim so far this season. At least it's not a loss. We're still unbeaten in the league, which is great. That keeps us top of the table as well. Happy days. All right, so we are absolutely loving life at the moment. 40 goals scored already in 11 games. That is unreal. Unbeaten, ultimate difficulty, cannot hang. Anyway, I've been Morsi. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll catch you very soon for episode number five. Take it easy, guys.